let's take a look at this one. A person measures his or her heart rate by counting the number of beats in 30 seconds. If 40 plus 1 beats are counted in 30.0 plus or minus 0 0.5 seconds, what is the heart rate and its uncertainty in beats per minute? Okay, so tignan muna natin yung most probable value of the ano natin. Most probable value meaning the average. Kinukuha lang natin itong mga uh, bases. Iyan. Okay? Tawagin natin most probable value na lang. Ano? So the most probable value M M MPV. <laughs> most probable value. So how do we get the ano, bits per minute? So that's bits divided by time. So 40 bits divided by 30 seconds. So that is equal to 'Yan ano na lang natin, fraction para hindi muna tayo mag-quote mag ano. ano. Okay. Sige, decimal na lang. So 1.3333 bits per Ay wait lang. So per minute pala no? I-convert na natin. Convert na natin into ano into minute, bits per minute pala. So 60 seconds is 1 minute. Minute. Okay, so cancel na ngayon yung S second. So yan na yung ating uh, bits per minute. So that's 40 times 60 divided by 30. So 80 bits per minute. Okay, yan na yung most probable value. Ngayon ang ano natin is the uncertainty. So ano ang ginawa natin dito? Uh, dinivide natin, di ba? Dinivide natin yung beats tsaka yung uh, time. So, ang most probably for the for the uncertainty the uncertainty ano na ano na lang natin Diba yung formula natin kasi is A plus delta A. So ito yung most probable value natin. Palitan na lang natin yung ano. Wala tayo kasing symbol for A tsaka A. Ito na lang yung gamitin natin A tsaka delta A. Ito yung A. Yan yung most probable value. Yung delta A ay gagamitin natin yung formula based sa kung ano yung operation na ginamit natin. Ang operation na ginamit natin ay quotient. So ito yung gagamitin natin. Itong delta Q, ito ngayon yung delta A natin. Since isang variable lang yung ginamit, so hanggang dito lang tayo. So delta A over the absolute value of A is equal to the delta of the measurement over the absolute value of the measurement. And so in this case, delta A over the absolute value of the, ano, of the measurement A so that's 80 is equal to ang measurement natin ay dalawa pala no? dalawa so itong bits tsaka itong seconds so delta for the first one is 1 bit 1 bit over 40 absolute value lang naman so puro positive ito no 1 over 40 plus ito dapat in minutes kasi naka minutes ito bits per minutes so yung 30 in minutes that's 0.5 tama ilagyan natin ito yung 30 seconds iba alam natin that 1 minute is 60 seconds so this is 0 0.5 minutes tapos yung 0 0.5 seconds 
i-divide natin ng 1 over 60. So, that's 0.5 divided by 60. Para naka-minutes lahat. 1 over... Ano na lang? Ito na lang, 1 over 120. 1 over 120 uh, minutes. Yan. Okay? So, dito sa pangalawa, ang kanyang delta ay 1 over 120. Ang kanyang most probable value ay yung uh, 0 0.5. So yan, yan lang yung ating equation. So we can compute for delta A. So delta A, i-compute lang muna natin ito. 1 over 40 plus ito. Tapos whatever the answer, i-multiply natin yung 80. Uh, kasi nasa denominator yung 80. So that's 1 over 40. 1 over 40 plus 1 over 120 over 0 0.5 whatever the answer i multiply natin ng 80 so that's 3.333 yeah bits per minute din ito. Ayan. So, ito na yung ano natin, ito na yung heart rate 80 bits per second. Uh, 80 bits per minute pala. Tapos, ito na yung uncertainty natin. 